let's find the domain of this function g of x. So there's two things that you need to be aware of when you're finding the domain, and we have we have both of them right here in this function. You can't divide by a z by zero. So that's the first thing that's going to create a restriction. This cannot equal zero. So let's find out when that does equal zero. x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals zero. That's a quadratic equation. To solve it, I factor, if it factors, which it does. x minus 3 and x plus 1. And so what can x, what x either equals 3 or x equals negative 1, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and those it which means equal. it can't equal either of those because if it did, the bottom would be equal to zero. That's the first restriction. The second restriction has to do with the square root, and what are you not allowed to have underneath the square root? Oh, negative a one. negative number. Negative. You can't have a negative number, so this underneath here has to be what? Greater than zero. Greater yeah. than or equal to zero. So we write 3x plus 2 is greater than or equal to zero. We solve that. 3x is greater than or equal to negative 2 x is greater than or equal to negative two-thirds. And now we put these together, these two restrictions together. Mm -hmm. it, you might want to look at a number line to see what that looks like. Here's negative two-thirds is like just short of negative one. And here's negative one. And here's positive three. And how would you put that in interval notation? And what does it have to be? It has to be greater than negative two-thirds. So it's got to be from here. So this really doesn't even matter because negative one is less than negative two-thirds so it's got to go from here all the way there but not include negative one or positive three so writing that in interval notation I'll write it up here it's going to be let's look at what this graph is it's a closed dot right there so it's going to be bracket negative two-thirds comma three open bracket, union, open bracket, three, comma, infinity. Wait, this one has three. And that's how you graph that equation.